want to look like the best? Then get their gear. The USA Swimming National Team collection from Arena, Tier, plus a whole lot more. Available at SwimOutlet.com. The official online shop of USA Swimming. I was upset with my performance at trials at Rio, you know, and I wanted to, I want to keep swimming fast, you know, I want to go best times, you know, I want to, I want to try and be a leader on those world teams and qualify for many events. I'm a Texas Longhorn fan, and I love Jack Conger. There, I said it. I'm not supposed to like one athlete over another. I'm supposed to be Switzerland. But Jack's a good guy, a workhorse, and in college he evolved into a butterfly. The greatest event ever created in history, without question. Jack's fly evolution has been bumpy, especially in the 200. After dropping a 154 in 2015, he didn't follow up in 2016. Here's what he had to say about his 100 and 200 fly last year. Um, you know, it was it's kind of it was kind of difficult. You know, I still went a best time in the 100 fly at trials. You know, it's still, you know, obviously I was fourth, so I was pretty disappointed. And it wasn't, you know, it's it's kind of hard to complain with the best time at this point, but. Uh, it was definitely subpar, and the 200 was a little harder just because I had the 200 free right before it. But um, really, no excuses. So I was, you know, I was pretty bothered by that, and uh, you know, I kind of wanted to try and make a statement. You know, have the best swim I could have in NCAA's in the 100 and 200, and kind of ride and build off that momentum and make sure that I was in a good place for this year. The 4x200 Freestyle Olympic Champion has a lot of options for the U.S. World Trials. Will he give us his lineup? You know, Eddie and I and Wyatt haven't really talked about that too much. Um, but, you know, after this meet, I think we'll kind of decide, well, you know, what's right for me and what doubles I'll be doing and that kind of thing. It's nice that there won't be some decisions. Chris Kubik meant a lot to the Texas Longhorn team. Jack sits light on his departure and how Wyatt Collins, the assistant coach, filled his shoes. No one can replace Chris. Um, you know, he's a phenomenal person, he's a phenomenal coach. Um, he's uh, just an overall great person, and you know, he was a really good mentor, a friend, and a coach to me. Uh, but Wyatt's done a great job. Um, you know, I, we, I couldn't have asked for a better coach to come in, and it's kind of cool because uh, Wyatt's first year um, was my freshman year, and he was the volunteer assistant coach, so I've kind of built a really, really good and close relationship with Wyatt. Um, you know, he knows a lot about me and he knows a lot about, you know, what do I want, what I want to accomplish right now. Um, and so, you know, he, he's done a great job so far. Jack Conger, Clark Smith, and Willicone top a new Texas pro team. And their pro training for the quad really starts this fall. Clark Smith comments. It's pretty good. Um, we're going to start a uh, um, different, like, training schedule in the fall. And we also got a backstroker, Bryce Bowman, who's 54, 100 long course back. So we're starting to build up a a, a really uh, kind of selective group, which is kind of nice, and get a little more attention and separate us from the collegiate guys when they're doing dual meets. So it, it'll be it'll be fun. How would the pro crew be different from the college team? Well, we got uh, an assistant coach from Wisconsin, um, and then I think half our practices will be with the college team, and then the other half I think will just be just the pro groups. I think from what I know, but who knows yet. Willa Cohn suffered third place finish at the 2016 Olympic Trials, a tough experience to overcome. And I think he did, with his 147 200 yard breaststroke, US Open, and American record in NC2As this past spring. Lacone could be the star of the Texas pro team over this quad. Listen to Lacone put the pro group into perspective. As a kid, I feel like UT had one of the you know, most notable pro groups in the world uh, with Hanson, Pearsall, Crocker, Shanto, and I don't know how many countless others they had. Then it just kind of faded away over time, and it's pretty cool to you know, get it started back. So I'm pretty excited for that. Most people aren't 6'9", right? 6'9", 6'10"? Yeah, oh, 6'9". Okay. I'm not a freak. I thought it was, <laughs> with Jack, I had trouble. Once you hit 6'10", you're kind of a, a weirdo. Player. Yeah. <laughs>